Hi, this is Abdul Bharti and we are here at Open Source Summit in Vancouver. Today we have with us Queen of Cloud, Abby. How are you doing today? Fantastic. Uh, recently, uh, the whole IPO thing happened. How does it reflect, you know, on Cloud Foundry? Well, I think it's fantastic that uh, one, Pivotal has got a, a great portfolio of capabilities, both from Pivotal Cloud Foundry as well as the enablement services they have around it and, and their data suite. So I think they've got a great portfolio to to go public with, but it's obviously really great for Cloud Foundry to see a company that's able to go public, you know, really with Cloud Foundry as the tip of the spear for them. And now let's look at Cloud Foundry itself. In the last 12 months, can you talk about the growth and adoption of Cloud Foundry? It's been super phenomenal. I've been part of this ecosystem now for five years, and it's been really great to see Cloud Foundry grow and evolve. We are in over half the Fortune 500. You know, those numbers continue to go increase day by day. We are, you know, really the standard for what a lot of companies are basing the future of their company on. And we've seen a ton of growth and evolution in our ecosystem. This year, we also saw Alibaba Cloud join as a gold member. And Cloud Foundry is now natively available on Alibaba Cloud. And I think we'll see a lot more from them. So. We're seeing Cloud Foundry adoption grow by enterprise users. We're seeing all of the major public clouds uh, wanting to be part of the ecosystem and the offering around Cloud Foundry. And we're seeing enterprises really um, that have adopted it really lean in and entrench themselves with the technology. So it's been an amazing last 12 months. And if you look at the growth or expansion of ecosystem, you also embraced uh, Kubernetes with CFCR. Yes, last uh, so, uh, year. Uh, how does that affect you know, the ecosystem itself? Kubernetes is, is fantastic. I mean, it's a great technology. It brings a, a ton of, of capability to, to containers. And containers are really the fundamental building block for a lot of the portability for where cloud native apps. So I think having that technology has been great. We launched CFCR, as you said last year, the Cloud Foundry Container Runtime, which is Kubernetes on Bosch. It's our distribution of Kubernetes. And that's allowed enterprises to start really sampling in that with that technology and running those containerized workloads alongside their Cloud Foundry deployment. So they can have a, a single plane of operations that allows them to have a variety of applications. Now, having said that, what I really firmly believe is that we are entering into beyond just multi-cloud, multi-platform world, mm -hmm. where enterprises are going to really be running a variety of technologies and solutions to address their variety of workload needs with their applications. And so, you know, I'm I'm very strongly and firmly that multiple technologies will really be part of the larger story for most enterprises. What, what is multi-platform? Multi-platform means that they're gonna be running a variety of platforms for a variety of application workloads. There's never going to be one technology that solves everything. That's not Cloud Foundry, that's not Kubernetes, that's not any platform, and that's fine because at the end of the day, enterprises are broad, mm -hmm. they're complex, they have evolving needs. And I think recognizing that it's from a technology standpoint is important and, and understanding that all these technologies really will complement each other over time. 